Hi, my name is Johan, I'm tech lead of the Things Network, and today we're going to unbox and activate the Things Gateway. So this is the gateway in the box. We have two models, the 868 and the 915 model, and you can see which model you have here in the bottom. The activation instructions are on the back, uh, but in this video I will show you how the activation works. So let's unbox the gateway. So in the box, you'll find the gateway, as well as the antenna and the power adapter. So let's have a look inside the gateway. So you can open the gateway by removing the white lid. And here you see the LoRa module, the expansion slot, the PIC32 processing unit, uh, the Wi-Fi module, the status LEDs, where you can see the status of the gateway and the activation procedure. And here in the bottom, there is the Ethernet SD card for manual software updates and the power supply. So you can use this gateway both on Wi-Fi and Ethernet. So let's put the white lid back. And then connect the antenna. So the antenna connector is here at the top. And then what's next is to power it on. So get your power adapter, plug it here in the bottom, and you see here the status LEDs, uh, and it's now ready for activation. And the next step is to activate the gateway online. To activate your gateway, go to ttn.fyi slash activate. Then scroll down, and here you find the things gateway and the button to start the activation process. You can register a new account or log in with your Things Network account. And when you're logged in, click the Let's Get Started button. Then you need to enter a unique identifier of your gateway. And you need to select the frequency plan to use. So for this gateway, I'm going to use Europe 868. Leave this checkbox uh, checked to enable automatic updates of your gateway. Then click Register Gateway. The next thing you need to do is to connect to your gateway uh, using Wi-Fi because the gateway in activation mode is exposing a Wi-Fi access point. So go to your Wi-Fi settings and um, connect to Things Gateway. The password is the Things. The activation page will automatically try to connect to your gateway. And when it has been connected, uh, you can press the continue button. Then you need to configure how your gateway connects to the internet. So you can use either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I'm going to use Wi-Fi, so I need to select the Wi-Fi SSID and enter the password. And then click configure gateway. Now the gateway will uh, configure itself, restart, and um, try to connect to the Things Network. So you need to uh, connect to your normal internet Wi-Fi again, and now you can wait for the gateway to check in. You can see here the status of the excavation process by looking at the status LEDs. So now the gateway is successfully checked in, and you can manage your gateway in the Things Network console. So click the link, and here you see the gateway, and you also see how many messages it has received and how many messages it sent. You can also see the traffic uh, if you go to traffic. Uh, so this is the real-time real -time traffic that your gateway receives. And you can edit the settings of your gateway. So for example, uh, you can enter a description or you can put the gateway on the map. Putting your gateway on the map uh, is important because we also now support uh, geolocation services and that works better when the gateways are correctly placed on the map. So that's how easy it is to activate the gateway. Uh, thanks very much for watching.